So we're going to do a video on duct cleaning. I have duct cleaning equipment, but I've never done it on my own house. So we're going to do it on my house. And, uh, That's my duct we do. cleaning trailer. So we'll do a little tour of the duct cleaning trailer. All the stuff in there. And then uh, I'm going to get everything back in the garage over here before we load it all up into the house and uh, so then we'll go through it show you everything I have and then get into the duct cleaning stuff later on all right so this is the duct cleaning trailer stuff we carry in it some things in here I'm doing some other projects so got a recovery machine and actually a carpet cleaner back there too um, a couple of large wheeled cases foam plugs to plug the registers, uh, gas air compressor, some uh, fogging machines so we can fog in sanitizer and air freshener and sealer, things like that. And of course the machine itself, uh, it's an air care turbojet 2012. Oh, well we got our brush here. This is what will spin inside the, the ductwork, you know, besides using the air hoses, things like that. Air hoses are down under there. Um, get it back up into the garage, and we'll go through the insides of everything. Last item out of the trailer, brush, leave that stuff in for now. Okay, bring this last stuff in, and our brush. So that's the house we're going to be doing the duct cleaning on. Front view, so four bedrooms, you know, a lot of rooms. We'll go through it when we do the duct cleaning. And we'll go through all our stuff here. All right, so let's go over some of the equipment it takes to do air duct cleaning. Uh, no, we do not compete with these guys in the newspaper for, you know, $40 a whole house. You got a lot of equipment, a lot of time. Usually takes us two men anywhere around six hours to do an average home. So how could you possibly do it for what those guys show in the paper? Eight dollars event, nine dollars event. It's a you can't do it. It's a scam. They get in the door and then they start selling you other things. Um, or they do what's called blow and go. They go downstairs, make a lot of money noise and they're out of your house in an hour well there's no way to clean the ductwork properly so anyways uh this is our ma machine air care uh 2012 next we've got our air compressor so eight horsepower gas fired our air hose stuff uh, if we're blowing out a blower need to get in in anywhere uh just got a little nozzle on the end, creates high pressure, it'll blow out the blower wheels. Got uh, this nozzle head, just basically blows straight forward, um, or forward and out on a you know, circumference. You know, it's all coiled up, it's got a handle on it, so we start and stop when we're at each register. Okay, here's the end. We got uh, these little circular balls. They got some, I don't know if you can see, focus in holes on the back half. So as we push this in, 
it's blowing air back towards me and pushing the ball down the ductwork. They have other balls that the air is on the front. Uh, there is one hole in this ball that's kind of offset to the side. So as you're fishing this down and you're turning it back and forth, it'll cause the ball to weave you know, to one side of the duck or to the other. So as you're feeding it down, you're, if you've got a wide duck, you're able to allow to control the ball. Because it's got, let's see if we can find it here. Uh, I don't know, it's there somewhere. But anyways, um, that way you can control the ball and have it go back and forth. Um, and you can feed this way down the ductwork. It's got more air hoses in there, so as we run through the house, uh, you want to keep these nice and clean, because obviously you don't want to drag it across somebody's nice clean carpet, have dirty hoses, uh, so always wipe them down after you're pulling them back out of the ductwork. Uh, what do we got next? Move this stuff back in there. So our first, uh, they're basically just big storage totes with wheels on them. So it makes it real easy to carry in, you know, roll into the, the home. Holds a lot of stuff. So this one, this is the main power cord. Plugs into the back of our machine. Uh, let's see, Pella filter. We'll explain what that is later on. It's when we fog the ductwork. Just rags, heavy duty drill, extra vacuum bags, uh, brush. Got these little plugs. If we, uh, these, these are large enough to where I can drill a hole in the ductwork and send that uh, skipping ball, that little ball down in different spots if I think I need to get more access to something else to get it clean better. So I could drill a hole and plug it right back up. Uh, let's this aside. Of course, you should always have some tarps with you. You can lay down tarps anywhere you need. And this is our 12-inch uh, hose. This would attach to the top of the ductwork. Let's go right to the ductwork. In fact, this is the end that goes to the ductwork. It's got a square plate on the end. Screw that right to the ductwork, got a foam gasket, and then the other end of this ties to our the top of our machine. So right there. So it draws in. So but this is all kept in one case. Our other case. Uh, what do we got? Velcro straps for different purposes. Uh, these are extra bristles for our spinning brush. If they wear out, I can pull out the old worn bristles and add some new ones. Different vacuum cleaner attachments. So when we go around and you're gonna do a handheld vacuum to clean the boots and registers before you start actually doing the air duct cleaning. Uh, here's, here's the other ball. It has the forward facing holes. So, and if we see that little hole there, it's kind of offset from where the other ones are. So as we turn the hose, it'll cause, cause it to go back and forth in the ductwork so it can wash all sides. Uh, another ball, reverse ball again. So, oh, there it is. See how that one has a hole in the side? So it'll, so it'll cause it to push it away from one side of the dock back to the other. Uh, hole cutter, uh, shoe booties. I always have shoe booties around. That's about it for that. And down here, let's move this out of the way. Extension cord. So, extra one. Uh, this is our machine. 
that controls the spinning brush. Actually, here's the brush. Okay. So here's our cable. Runs through this plastic pipe, and we have our brush on the end. And this brush will just start spinning. So that's that. Uh, what do we got? Backpack vacuum. So again, more fittings. So we go around, clean all the boots and registers everywhere we can reach. This is also a HEPA air filter. So, so it's uh, so we're not blowing dust and dirt around the client's home again. Uh, so what else we got? Uh, our oh, foam plugs. So as you go through and clean each register before you begin, you want to plug it after you're done. So you find a foam plug that'll fit it, jam it up in there so it seals it nice and tight. Um, then you'll be unplugging one vent at a time, so all the air is being drawn through one vent as well as possible. These are all different sizes large ones, small ones, so all kinds of them. Uh, next thing we have is uh, this blue box. Basically this is a, uh, a video recorder. This is old school. I, I need to update it and get a uh, non-VCR. See if I could figure out how to adapt this. I don't hardly ever use this, but we have it. So it's got a screen. TV screen, we've got a VCR down here. We can actually record. Um, this plugs in to the machine here. Then we have a camera on the end here. Wheel, so we can push this down the ductwork and determine if it's dirty or clean or what. Um, so, all right, so one last item we do have for the air duct cleaning are these foggers. So we have two different ones, one set up with what you call uh, soot set and uh, sporacetylene, which is basically cleaner. Uh, it'll uh, kill germs, bacteria, things like that. And the soot set, as you, if you didn't get any minor dust that's still in the ductwork as you fog it, basically it kind of sets it in place. You know, it doesn't glues it in place. I don't know. I'm not a fan of that, but um, it's part of the, the system if you bought the whole system. So this will jet out a uh, real fine mist, almost like a, like a steam humidifier. You know, really, really, really fine. Um, so after you clean all the ductwork, get all the stuff out of there, you would fog in the air freshener or sanitizer into the ductwork, go around each vent. So as you're um, drawing air through, it's just kind of lining the inside of the ductwork, trying to kill any germs. You know, nothing's perfect, but you know, every something's better than nothing, right? But you can't get in there and wash it with ammonia or anything like that to clean it out, so you're going to do it yourself. And then you can do air freshener the same way.